or next time. Wow, great start. Okay, <laughs> welcome back to Salt Gods Gaming. We're still playing this game. Uh, we've been playing this game for, like, a while straight, and, uh, let's just say our brains no work anymore. That, and, like, this is a game where you have to do it, like, when your brain's fully Infinity. awake. Infinity! And beyond? Okay. Uh, so, Infinity. Remember that. I'll try. What about you? Uh, you want oil. Uh, there are signs, there are pages to read over here. I'm trying to be more, okay, infinity, oh, here we go, here we go. Infinity is that. So eight, no, seven, and then wiggle hourglass eyeball. Is that something, can we mess with that from here or not? No. What does this one say? Moon. Okay, can we go in any of these doors? No. Go back. Go back. Oh wait, does that lamppost have a control panel? Uh, you have to have which this lamp? They're saying. Oh, cute. They're saying click. Uh, go up the stairs on your left, click on the lamppost panel, control panel, and one piece will fall. This staircase? That is, in fact, my left? Yeah, that would be it! Uh, what? So... You can only... Slime puzzle. Oh, no, I just needed that one piece. Now it's a slide puzzle. Now it's a slide puzzle. Got it. Uh, what is the slide? You know, I'd tell you if I knew. Parts of it look like a foot. No, I feel you. So we need to go this way first. How? What? I get, is this like Suro, where the lines are supposed to- it must be. I could not tell you, I do not know what you're talking about. It's a game that my dad worked on, where essentially the goal of it is that you had- you had these tiles with all these different, like, shapes on them, mm -hmm. and you had to connect the tiles by, like, the lines, and the goal was to not let your guy fall off the board, essentially. Okay, that's fair and reasonable. Um, and it, I feel like that's what this is trying to do, where you're supposed to connect these like that, but I don't, but none of these connect. <laughs> like, you see how this line's all connected here? Yeah. I think it's supposed to be like that, where those lines connect. What am I trying to do here? That's a good question. So that piece does line up with that piece. That's what I thought. Click on the lamp post and click on one piece. Move to the left on the bridge and the owl will follow you. Extend and shrink your neck until the wire is cut and the owl falls to the ground. Supposed to figure 
that out. I, I didn't realize that the owl, like, that we needed the piece that the owl had. Oh. So we have to figure the rest of this out and then put that piece in? I guess. Okay. I guess. That piece goes in the top left corner. This one goes in the top left corner? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this one. I need this piece down here. No. This piece down here? Yeah. This piece up here. Yes. Okay. So I want that piece there? No. We need. It doesn't, it doesn't fit anywhere else. Wait, move, move that one down. Is this supposed to all line up somehow? I'm assuming so. But there's not enough pieces for that. I'm assuming the one in the top right corner is just empty. But then it doesn't connect. Get this piece. Uh, put this back here. Just pick up the loose wire from the pole and plug it in and go up the ladder. Oh, you have to use it on the fence. What? The pole that we just, or the wire that we just. Pick up the loose wire from the pole where the owl is and use it on the fence. You go up the ladder and unplug the wire of the worker. You will fall down when the worker is turned around. Pull the red wire. once. Now reopen the pull pan control panel and move the pieces aside until you form a single line from top to bottom. The piece yeah. that you have picked up from the owl must be placed in the top left corner of the puzzle. here and then like oh so we just need to connect 
Moon line. But it's not even connected. There we go. It's not a pencil electric. Now climb the ladder. No. Shit. From the right hand side and try to pick up the cat. From the right hand side? So we're suction cupping dogs and electrocuting cats all of a so sudden? Move a piece to cut electricity and pick up the cat. What the heck? Go get it to the last musician. I thought he didn't need anything. His didgeridoo doesn't work, so they're replacing it with a cat. How were we supposed to figure that out? No fucking clue. Like, I know his didgeridoo didn't work, but, like, he didn't want anything. Was that, like, the game's nod towards people who are mute? Like, I, what? What is replacing it with a cat gonna do as well? Screeches, I'm assuming. Oh, it was the thing that was stuck inside it. Okay, pick up the radio. Alright. Go back up the stairs, past the door, and the other stairs until you come to the town center. Okay. Wait, the town center, is that where we just were? Uh, yes. I believe okay. so. Alright. We're, we're getting there. We're not, but we're getting there. We're kind of. Oh, we are. No, I figured. Uh, now what? time. Okay. Uh, move to the left and on the outer wall in front of the fountain. Center bottom of the screen. Pick up the winding handle. Okay. Use the handle in the hole under the big clock to set it to the II or 7. And the middle clock on the wiggle sign. Look at the sign where the lady was sitting. It at. will not let me put it in. Am I looking at the wrong giant hole? Out. Apparently. Until it's at seven. Okay. And, and the middle one at the squiggle. How do you... How do I... How do I switch which one it goes to? It does not say. So like a normal clock. Squid, right? Yes. Do we have robot church in this land? Apparently. Look at the sign where the lady was sitting and set the clock on the time specified on the note. Squiggle six? Yes. Six. A squiggle that looks like the number six, and then put it to six. Alright, got it. Hmm. 
Ooh, this guy. Go up the stairs on the right and into the room. Okay. Pick up the speaker and go down the stairs. Okay, you've already gotten the oil container. Yeah. Uh, go down near the musicians and exit the door to the left. Use the oil container with the dripping oil. This is a lot of back and forth. Yeah. I feel like that's... I, I feel like this game is not designed all that well. Like, granted, I don't know that much about game design. Despite the fact that my dad is a game designer. But, like... If it's this unintuitive and this back and forthy, like, I just feel like it's, it's cute and all, but like, not great. Yeah, I, I think the design was, is adorable. Well, like, the graphic design is cute. And, and I, I'm like, I like the steampunk-ish vibe. Like, it's like retro steampunk, you know? Yeah, it's super cool. And, like, the concept isn't that bad either. It's more of just the execution just did not work. I mean, the fact that we're having to use a walkthrough on the first time through, like... Also, the idea that, like, thing, like the hitboxes on things are so small. Like, we're clicking these things, and they're not giving them to us. We pick up the oil container and get click the pothole to open it. I assume I'm going down then. Yes, get what down the pot. Uh, uh, it, like, it looks like a T Rex. <laughs> Move to the right and open the drawer. Okay. Keep moving the pages until you get to the end and pick up the wrench. Got it. Move near the pipes and use them. So it sh we need three wrenches for this? Pick up the small piece of iron hanging on the pipe. Okay. Go down near the drain and use the piece of iron with the drain to get another wrench. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Now go into the pipes again and use the wrenches as follows. Okay. Use the two wrenches on the first two columns on the top row. And the third wrench on the second column in the second row. This will stop the water. Use the radio in the drawer cabinet and talk to the big wrench on the big pipe to flood the oil bar. Use the radio on the. Yeah. I need it fixed. Okay, fine. This is a fucking jam. Uh, okay, are we communicating? Are we communicating like bees communicate? I guess. Like, how I'm fucking dancing. Anywho, um. Go up the ladder and enter the fountain. D did he do the thing though? Oh. oh. <laughs> is that how we're doing things now? I guess. Does this guy not have his own pair of legs? Oh, and he blocked the drain. I feel like that's gonna come back to bite us in the ass. I love. Okay, but they deserve it. So, cool.
Oh, they really deserve that. Also, this music is jamming. Can we just drown them? Did this get more morbid than I thought it was? Uh, we got an achievement then, for that. Nice. Okay, he's my favorite character. Same. Go up the ladder and enter the fountain. Can we just have an adventure with him? Just as I'm this down. Guy? I don't really care, but I'm not all that attached to his girlfriend, so. Open the door on the right and go down the elevator. That's an elevator now? Nice. Push the red button on the wall to go down. Click on the window to talk to the other robot. Oh, it's our girlfriend. Oh. They kidnapped her. And stuck her in there. And forced her to make food. That's sexist. He's got a cute hat, though. Aw, poor babe. He's got a cute hat, though. That's true. Open the cabinet, pick up the corn. Oh, we're playing as her now. Oh, put that back. <laughs> Open the cabinet. Pick, pick up, up the, the cord. cord. Got it. Um, See, pick up the boiling pot. Mouth. All right. Use the pot on the floor and use the corn with the hot plate. We are making some fucking popcorn. Heck yeah. Hot butter popcorn. That's a racist song, but you know. I did. What was the point of that? I, I wish I knew, man. Really? It was to get a hook? Okay. What's next? Okay, cool. Hook uh, the window. Pick up the hook from the floor and use the hook with the window. Yep. Click on the window to control the other robot. And we're already past that. Alrighty. Hook. Climb up the pot or climb up the pot on the floor and use the hook with the air conditioner on the ceiling. Okay. I was close. Had the right idea, just I wasn't on the pot. Use it again and get the ice pipes. Climb down and use the pot on the hot plate. Use the pipes on the pot. Our girlfriend looks very concerned all the time. Right. Um, and the rubber pipe will come out. H how? There you go. It's a long ass rubber pipe. Anywho, oh, um, she's still sucking up the pipe. I thought she was drinking the boiling water. I was like, what is well, happening? What is, um, uh, use the rubber pipe with the oil dispenser. Okay, got it. Use the puller on the elevator to start it. The puller? Oh, we really got stuck here just because we ran out of oil? Glad we didn't cast off. You know. Use the puller on the elevator to start it, and then to make it work, you basically need to swap the bottom levers with the top levers on the control panel. Can I not move in more than one direction? No. Oh. What is that? What is here? That goes down. This goes here. This. can't go in any- oh no, I can go like that. Like 
like you can't go anywhere from there. I need it to go here, so I need it to be where this one is. If you move that gray one, or not, sorry, I confused myself, so I need to start over. That's fair. So if I put this here, what has access to it? This one can go here. I need this one to go. Oh, I see. So. How did these all end up on the same track? Oh, it's fair. To be fair, all you have to do is go around it one more time. But I can't. You can put that red in the bottom. Yeah. No, wait, go back. Move that one, that, you, that red. No, yeah, that one. Down and then up again. It's strange, I'm gonna be so upset. Uh, and then do the same. Just abandoning her there, I guess. Now we're going all the way up. So I start time to click. All right, we will continue um, next time on the next episode of Salt Gods Gaming. The radiator has fucking eyes. That's ah. upsetting. All righty, and with that, next wonderful time note. on Salt Gods Gaming, we'll figure this out. Yeah.